know that it is very easy to represent social media network using graphs. If you understand basics of graphs, you would understand it is very easy to store. You are connected to which people, they are connected to which people and so on. Similarly, a recommendation system. Products are connected based on user preferences. But graphs are stored where? It is in memory structure. How would you store this data in database? This is where graph databases come in. Instead of rows and tables, graph databases have nodes and edges to store and manage relationships between entities. These databases are designed to optimize complex queries using different algorithms like, yes, you guessed it right, PFS and DFS. The most common graph databases used in the industry are Neo4j, Amazon Neptune, and ArangoDB. But did you know that many graph databases support asset properties so they assure reliability even in such complex operations pretty cool right for more such awesome things don't forget to follow the courses and please do share with your friends as you can see we are doing a hundred days challenge it will mean a lot to us if you can help us reach more people